Uh, do the workability claim. My opponents, opponents uh, stated that the 1033, getting rid of the 1033 program would not be sufficient to stop a police abuse. Um, assuming that without the 1033 program, there are actually other reasons for police abuse. But I claim that because of the 1033 program or the combat weaponry that is given to police, um, tactics, tactics are militarized. Uh, Michael Shank uh, from Huffington, Huffington Post um, mentioned that tactics are becoming increasingly militarized. Most police departments and even federal agencies, such as the Department of Education, are using special weapons and tactics units to issue basic warrants at an average rate of 150 raids per day. This trend will only escalate tensions in our communities, making people feel less safe, more guarded, and more defensive, especially in minority communities where police forces are majority white. Um, three quarters of US towns with 50,000 people or more have, majority, have white majority police forces patrolling minority communities. In their disadvantaged claim, they also stated that um, through the 1033 program, a lot of the combat weaponry um, or combat vehicles would be taken away from police officers that are actually needed in disasters <coughs> such as natural disasters. However, I claim that um, they are very excessive um, and they're usually not e used for those purposes. Um, um, Michael Shank also mentioned that U.S. towns as small as 4,000 in Michigan and 16,000 in North Carolina were giving MRAPs and safe small town in America is being threatened. More than 25 towns across the U.S., no bigger than 25,000 in populations, population size, now have MRAPs. As the American Silver Liberties Union reported this summer, war has come to America and it's excessive. Um, I would like to claim that police are not equipped to handle this kind of combat weaponry in terms of responsibility and training. Um, Rivero, Daniel Rivero and George Rivas, um, fusion investigators, claim that uh, fusion has learned that 184 state and local police departments have been suspended from the Pentagon's 1033 program for missing weapons or failure to comply with other guidelines. We uncovered, or the fusion uncovered, a pattern of missing N14 and M16 assault rifles across the country, as well as instances of missing .45 caliber pistols, shotguns, and two cases of missing Humvee vehicles. Um, the police also, in terms of responsibility, harm citizens during uh, peaceful protests. Um, the World Socialist website uh, stated that after an init initial series of protests and rallies in New York downtown area involving as many as 1,000 people, a column of at least 60 police officers clad in riot gear co confronted a group of overwhelmingly young and peaceful protesters outside UC Berkeley on Telegraph Avenue, one of the main thoroughfares of the city. The police charged a group of students using tear gas, batons, riot shields, smoke grenades, and rubber bullets. 